Hello everyone, my name is Ripley and I'm the Children's Librarian at the Rose Creek Public Library. Today we are going to put our science hats on and we're going to make a homemade volcano. Now, if you don't know what a volcano is, thankfully we have a lovely book here that'll tell us a little bit more about them. So basically a volcano is a mountain. <clears throat> There's a hole in the volcano that goes down deep inside the earth. Hot melted rock, which is called magma, flows deep inside of the earth. Sometimes gas in the earth can mix with the magma and this forms a pressure. And this pressure can push the magma up toward the earth's surface. Now when this happens, we call this a volcanic eruption. So today, we are going to be using simple household ingredients to make our own volcanic eruption. So to get started, let's lay out the things that we'll need for our volcano. Uh, in order to make the volcano itself, you're going to need four things. The first thing is that we will need some dough. Now I've got my dough here. This is what we'll use to create the body of the volcano. The second thing that we're going to need is the top of a two liter plastic soda bottle. So we just sort of cut it off and made a nice flat surface. The third thing that we're going to need is some baking soda. And the fourth thing is some plain white vinegar. Now, there are also two optional tools that you can use, uh, which might help make your process a little bit better. The first of these is a funnel, which you can stick into the top of your volcano and it'll make pouring your baking soda a lot easier. The second thing that you can use is some red and yellow food coloring. You can mix this into the vinegar and it'll make it just look a little bit more like lava when it comes out. <clears throat> so the first order of business today is that we're gonna make our dough. Now I've already made my dough, um, but I've got a slide here with a recipe, and this is just a very simple house, uh, homemade dough. Um, it requires one cup of flour, a quarter cup of salt, and three quarters cups of water. And you basically just mix it all together and make a big mess. Um, you can also just use Play-Doh if you happen to have any handy, but I didn't, so I went ahead and made this dough. Uh, next, we're going to use our soda bottle top to form our volcano. So I'm just gonna set it right down onto my tray and start taking my dough, sort of flattening it out and sort of just piling it on top like so. And if you've ever played with Play-Doh, it's basically the same consistency, which is very nice. And I actually, in this dough, mix some red and green food coloring together and when you mix red and green, it makes a brown color. So that is how I made the dough look a little brown. So just sort of sticking it up on the side of the soda bottle. Now you do want to do this on a tray or a plate, and you wanna have this somewhere where you don't mind making a little bit of a mess, um, somewhere that's easy to clean up like a table or maybe outside, if that's an option for you. So we'll go ahead and get that nice and molded on there. Pick that up off the table. <clears throat> got a little bit more on the back. Okay. <laughs> All right. So there is our beautiful volcano that we've made. Um, so next we're going to add our baking soda. Now I'm gonna use this funnel here. You can also, um, if you wanna take just a sheet of rolled up paper and make a little pa paper funnel, um, you can also do it that way. And keep in mind that the more baking soda that you pour in, the bigger your volcanic eruption is going to be. Um, this I'm just kind of eyeballing, but you could maybe add just a couple of tablespoons and uh, see where that gets you. Okay, so I've got a good amount of baking soda in there. Make sure we're all nice and formed up, stuffed down onto the table so that it doesn't flow out from underneath the volcano. All right, now finally, to complete our volcano, we are going to pour the vinegar in. So based on everything that we've learned about volcanoes so far, let's see what happens when we add the vinegar. <clears throat> All right. See, it did kind of bubble out of the bottom and that's okay. Adding a little bit more like so. See, I think I didn't quite get enough baking soda in. 
So what we'll do, chuck some more down in there. See how that works. There we go. <laughs> All right. So that is our volcano. Now, the reason that the vinegar and the baking soda make these bubbles is because it's a chemical reaction. Baking soda is a base and vinegar is a type of acid. When they're combined, they release carbon dioxide, which forms the bubbles and makes the pressure that uh, sort of forms the volcano itself. So that is our experiment for the day. Thank you for tuning in. Um, if you guys make your own volcano at home, if you would please take pictures or videos and you can tag us on Facebook or on Instagram at hashtag SEQLIB or just tag Sequoia Regional Libraries and let us know what you've been doing. So thank you for tuning in and we'll see you next time.